What's going on y'all, it's your boy Booster at Billy back with another video and today we are back with another one of those like how to use a certain fighter tutorial slash showcase and today we are talking about the man, the myth, the legend Bruce Lee so this is per subscriber request from Johnny Lawrence he was very enthusiastic, he asked me multiple times about the showcase and Johnny my man, I'm happy to make this for you so just like any other of these videos, it's three sections to them so the first one is a statistical overview of the fighter what they're good at, what they're not good at then we go into practice mode and talk about their move set, what moves they have and how you should use those in combos and then obviously after those two sections is the fights so with that being said first off let's look at Bruce Lee's perks he has taekwondo crazy legs and skirmishers so basically he's gonna be able to move faster when moving backwards and his kicks pretty much all of his kicks are going to be faster and more accurate looking at his stand-up it's pretty good four and a half stars is no joke the one thing that really sucks is his punch power is an 86 not necessarily inaccurate but I do think they kind of hold him with that. I think they should have at least given him like a 90. Because a 90 is about average punch speed. So I think that's a little bit silly that he's so weak in the hands. But he does have a 94 punch speed. So that kind of makes up for it. Everything else is about mid 90s. Except his footwork is 97. Which will be really nice. He's going to be very light. Very fast on the feet. As well as his kick speed is a 98. Which is pretty nuts. His kick power is also 92. And I feel like for someone who is so legendary and so known for their kicks, they could have given him more kick power as well. However, it's not going to change just because I'm complaining about it, so it is what it is. Looking at Bruce Lee's grappling, it's not the best. Three and a half stars overall, and his bottom control is only an 85, which really sucks. See, even if he only had three and a half star grappling, if he had like a 90 or so bottom control, that would be bearable because, you know, you don't want to be on the ground with Bruce Lee, so very rarely will you be in top control as you're not going to go for takedowns. However, if someone does take you down, you have an 85 submission defense and an 85 bottom control, which means you're going to have quite the tough time on the bottom. And then looking at his health, it's all pretty good. About 92 to 95, nothing to worry about there. Looking at his moves, he has really good kickboxing combinations and really good traditional combinations. Now, if you want a full in-depth tutorial on kickboxing combinations, I have a video just like that on my channel, so go ahead and check that out. And I will be making a traditional combination video soon as well. But with that being said, let's get into practice mode and look at his moveset. Bruce Lee's punching attributes weren't anything too crazy, and neither are his actual punching moves. He does have that signature four-star back fist, which is pretty cool, but everything else is like two to three stars. Ultimately, with Bruce, he's more of a kicker than a puncher, and you can see that reflected in his moveset. However, he does have a spinning back fist and a lead 12 to 6 elbow, which we will be having some fun with. Looking at his kicks, his regular Muay Thai style kicks aren't anything too crazy. Most of them are about three to two stars. However, when you get into his more traditional kicks, like his side kicks, his hook kicks, his side kicks to the face, his oblique kicks, his jumping roundhouses, his spinning side kicks, his lead spinning side kicks, he has the lead spinning body side kick, the jumping side kick to the body, the body crane kick, as well as the crane kick to the face, a tornado kick, and the lead jumping switch kick to the head. Those are all really fun to use, and they're just a great way to mix it up on your opponent. There's, you can be very unpredictable with those moves as long as you mix them up well. His clinch work, nothing too crazy. Looking at his takedowns, his judo takedowns are three stars. All of his wrestling stuff is pretty bad, but he does have the Osotogari trip, as you can see, which is awesome. Not a lot of fighters have this move, and a lot of people don't know how to do this move. So obviously the button input from Orthodox is L2, square, and X, and you hold both of those buttons simultaneously, and you'll get something like this. But the problem that people run into is that they don't realize you have to be in the same stance as your opponent. So if Alexander Vol Volkanovsky is in Southpaw and I'm in Orthodox, it's only going to input a lead uppercut. However, if I switch to Southpaw, the trip now works. Keep in mind though that when you are in Southpaw, the button input is L2, Circle, and Triangle, not X and Square. Looking at his ground game, all of his sweeps, reversals, ground transitions, and get-ups are all one star. So yeah, his ground game, along with the mediocre attributes, his animations and transitions are pretty bad as well. You definitely don't want to be on the ground with Bruce. His submissions actually are a little bit better than I thought they would be. He does have three star guillotines, which is pretty solid, meaning that if someone is really spamming those takedowns on you, you will have the guillotine reversal for single legs. So now that you've seen Bruce's moveset, let's talk about some of the kicks and some of the combos I like to use with Bruce. First off, if you want to take advantage of his hook kicks, you can always go jab to lead hook kick, lead hook to lead hook kick, and straight to rear hook kick. If you want to use that jumping roundhouse, one of my favorite combos is just a simple jab to jumping roundhouse. Another way you can use that rear hook kick is a jab straight to hook kick. But besides those basic traditional combos, let's talk about some more advanced ones. If you want to take advantage of his lead spinning kicks, you can always go with a hook into a lead spinning body kick, like so. You could also do that into a regular lead spinning kick to the face. You could also start that combination off with a jab, so something like that. 
A weird way that you can use that lead spinning sidekick of Bruce's is by throwing either a leg kick or a body roundhouse, but you have to intentionally miss that first kick. And you get this weird combination that I don't advise using, but I mean, you can maybe get it to land if you hit it like picture perfect. You, bit, you have to barely miss that leg kick in order to be in range to actually land the strike, but it would be pretty badass if you could pull it off. If you want to use his rear spinning kick, you could go with a lead roundhouse to both the body or the head, and then immediately follow up with a spinning kick to the face. And if you go with that lead roundhouse, you can land two big head kicks in a row, so that's a very dangerous combo. If you want to use that lead roundhouse setup, you can also intentionally miss the lead roundhouse to make your opponent try to counter, because you know when they see you miss a head kick, they're going to think, oh, he's screwed, I'm going to counter, they're going to move in, and they're only going to be moving into your foot. You can always go with a lead hook into that spinning kick as well, or a jab to lead hook. Or a jab to lead hook to spinning kick, like so. Some other usages of Bruce Lee's spinning sidekick to the face is a lead body sidekick followed up with that spin to the face, like so. Keep in mind though, you do have to be moving forward with that spinning sidekick, otherwise it will not land. If you don't move forward with the spinning sidekick, it'll just end up like that. You'll just be a little bit out of range. You could also go with a lead jumping switch kick, to spinning kill kick to the face just like that and if you want to use that tornado kick you can always go with a lead hook into the tornado kick or a straight to lead hook into the tornado kick just like that and lastly but probably the coolest combo on this list is a front kick to the body followed up by a rear crane kick to the face it looks just like that it can be a bit hard to land that rear crane kick to the face However, if you can pull it off, it looks pretty sweet. But that's about it for Bruce Lee's moveset analysis. Let's get into some fights. Alrighty, here we are going up against a Yair Rodriguez player. This will be interesting because both fighters, both Bruce and Yair, have really good traditional combinations. Both have very flashy kicks. I think Yair has five-star uh, traditional combinations, just like Bruce. I think he wanted to go for a glove touch, but maybe not. But I have realized that uh, you can't go... You can't go too hard with the kicks with Bruce. I say that as I do that, but uh, yeah. He, I, I played one ranked match already with him. Got pooped on because I, I tried to use his kicks a little too much. Okay, a lot of elbows from this dude. But yeah, I mean, it, yeah, it's, it's just, it's not super effective. Yeah, I'm, see, I'm overdoing his kicks right now, and I'm losing a lot of stamina because of it. So this dude's just coming in and coming out. He enters the pocket and then immediately leaves. Playing guys like this who do it well are pretty annoying to play against. But what we're going to have to do is just slow down and not really bite on any of his feints. When we want to enter the pocket, we're going to have to cover a lot of ground at once by using a combination like that uh, that lead leg kick feint to body roundhouse. Something that really bothers me about Bruce Lee's character is that he... Oh, Lunch into that one. He uh he he does the back fist right instead of the jab, so you can't go jab to front kick to the body, which you know my opponent just used that against me right there. It's a staple combination, man. It sucks not being able to use it just because it's such like a just a, like a staple part of my game. But we're working that body roundhouse in pretty well. I just tried to go for it. Let's go for the jumping roundhouse. I got a sauce up on him a little bit. Woohoo! Beautiful traditional combo. That's what we like. Ooh. Tried to get in the clinch there with Bruce. And it seems like my opponent's getting a little bit more aggressive. I think we might have worked him up a little bit. Nope. That's a drop. Come on now, that's a deadly counter. And we're going for the finish, man. This is ranked. Oh, God. Okay, let's get up, get up, get up, get up. I didn't know if I'd be able to get that finish, so... I didn't, I didn't want to be on the ground with Bruce, even if I'm in top top control. Good hooks there. Bink. Man, we're just skying on this dude. And he quits. You know what? I count that as a W, man. <laughs> I count that as a W. GG, that's, a, that's our first win. We'll take it. Alright, here we are going up against a Jorge Masvidal player. This is not a match by like. Stylistically, it's not. Because I'm going to guess that he's going to pressure box me. 
and uh, you know pressure boxing kind of eliminates the kicking game if done correctly because you know they're pressuring you they're gonna be all up in your face so this will be uh, interesting to see we'll start off with the crane kick nice kick to the dome I tried going for a different combination there could not land it and I get caught going for a kick whilst in boxing range I almost almost slipped out of the way of that front kick this dude's mainly going jabs and straights so I believe I could hit that slip hook on entry I did but I accidentally lunged okay what are you doing buddy this guy is cooked crazy I think he just did like four hooks in a row and now he's swaying side to side a lot and I get rocked this is the thing usually you can kind of trade even uh, with someone with a little bit better hands but Jorge has so much better hands than Bruce I, I can't I can't trade hooks with him I can't do that that's how I got rocked just before there now I'm going for a different combination but I'm kind of kind of messing it up nice combination there Oh, I'm gonna rock him like this. I'm gonna rock him like this. <laughs> the hit's done. I I won that exchange in the clinch. Nice combo there. Now if I could pull one of his hooks and land a rear uppercut counter from it, I think that would dissuade him from throwing so many hooks. I can't really be doing that though. Oh, don't try to take me down, bro. Come on. I'm using Bruce freaking Lee. Good combo there. Ooh, that fucked me. I lunged in that body kick. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Now, it seems like he's rather intent on landing that front kick. Oh, that was meant to be a setup. Damn. Would have been huge if I could have landed that body roundhouse there as he was really low on stamina. Wow. A sprinting hook. Bold move by my opponent. And I'm trying to catch him with that hook kick on the way in. However, I think I should change it to the front kick. Just like that. It worked beautifully there. Another nice combo. I've been using that lead leg kick to body roundhouse a little bit on this dude. Now let's see if I can catch him coming in here. <laughs> Come on, man. You don't want to talk. You don't want to do that. I'm gonna catch you lacking. Not a bad. I knew it was a bad round. It, it kind of was, but I know what I need to change. I can't be trading in the pocket with this dude. I can't just stand on a napkin with this guy in box because that's that's just not gonna work. Yeah, Bruce Lee also has range. His his reach is really short, especially for light weight. Yeah, this must be lightweight. But yeah, like, Jorge is just a much bigger guy, so that makes things harder. That was just unintelligent, though. That was just not the best move selection. Alrighty, my opponent goes for a takedown. I was kind of uh, disappointed in this guy. Nope. Full guard reset, and let's get up. Fuck me. Predicted that. Good grappling by my opponent. Guard again. Hmm, so you'll limit with one straight there. Let's try getting it this way. Nice. Okay, now he mounts me. Not exactly the best spot. Let's try to deny this posture up. Fuck. Not a good spot to be. All hooks that time, no straight punches on the on the posture up. Let's pull guard. Oh, 
So at least we're now back up against the cage. And now we're back out. Didn't take any damage in the clinch either. Nice. Oh man. <laughs> Alright, not exactly sure how I caught that kick, but I'll take it. Woohoo! This isn't a good spot for my opponent. You don't want this, brother. Oh, that wasn't a rock. House of the body. Come on, man. Come on now. We'll get up. We'll get. We'll get up. We'll get up. Jumping around house. <gasps> he was blocking low. Oh, that could. That. That could have been it. Now I'm being an idiot right now and trading with him in the pocket, especially with how low my head health is. Alright, I don't know, I had a couple good moments that round, but I think I knocked him down twice. Oh my god, the game's telling me to look for a takedown, bro. I'm Bruce fucking Lee. No. <laughs> no. No. It seemed like he was guessing low on some of those high kicks, though, and that's why I caught him, so... I'm gonna just have to keep on doing what I do. Ah, oh, that missed. That was not the plan. I leaned into a hook. Come on, dog. Don't go for a takedown. He definitely did not mean to duck that. <laughs> ah, see, that's bad. I can't, can't do that. Nice. Come on! Big body kick there. Hit him with that roundhouse as he was... Very low on stamina, I thought I was blocking high. Duck that. Nah, he, yeah. I was a little bit predictable with that uh, body kick, this block's low. A little bit predictable with that body kick. Turning denial. Can't get it. It's tough. And Bruce does not have a get up here from here, unfortunately. Uh, that's unfortunate. Pulling guard on this dude's been pretty easy. He's not really denying that transition. Nice, nice fakes. I bit on that one. Ah, oh, he got that. He got that. Now let's try to push him up against the fence right away. Good stuff. <laughs> Just like before. He, he didn't learn. He didn't learn. Ah, fuck. I didn't mean to do that. Alright, we're gonna have to get a finish here. We're losing this fight. Oh, wow! That was not a rock. Yeah, I'll be the first to say that should have been a rock. Now, the thing that really sucks about Bruce Lee's sidekick, as you just saw, it's a sidekick. It's not a heel. It's not a spinning heel kick. So, the slightest bit of lateral movement will make it whiff, which just really sucks. However, it does allow that uh, lead head kick. First submission. Ooh, caught him. Yo, Bruce Lee's bar is kind of big for having such ass submissions. And it looks like this guy's not very good at defending them, so we might be able to get this. Yeah, buddy doesn't know what he's doing. Watch my video on how to defend uh, joint submissions. Don't be this guy and get submitted by a Bruce fucking Lee player. Guess I shouldn't be talking yet, but. Man, you gotta know how to defend joint submissions. That dude definitely could have got out of that if he knew how to do it. I mean, he wasn't even that low on stamina and Bruce Lee's submissions. They're like an 88, so it's not horrible. But, GG, I didn't even know Bruce had that Kimura, but I will definitely take it. <laughs> definitely not how I expected to win that fight. But a W is a W. That was a good time. Shouldn't have taken me down, brother. On to the next one. Alright, so our upcoming opponent is a fucking pussy.
I don't know why I said respect to him, because he doesn't deserve any of it, because he's using a fucking calf in ranked. I really, really dislike EA's decision to allow creative fires into ranked. Get shit on, buddy. That's what you get for using a calf. to the body right away. Let's see if Buddy decides to go for another head kick. We're working that straight to body roundhouse quite well right away. And honestly I feel like I'm boxing better than this kid. And I'm using Bruce Lee. So it just shows how how little skill this man has. Especially if he's getting outboxed by a Bruce Lee player. I mean he's also using a calf, so I don't know what else that says to you, but for real though, I think the creative fighters are way too good at doing the opposite of what their build is. I mean, like a lot of these creative fighters who are stand-up fighters can grapple, and a lot of the grappling, man, they have some stupid fucking moves for a grappling archetype. Like, I, 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 aren't you trying to make it feel like they're good at what they do, or they do a certain thing? What's the point of having a roll if you can do everything? I feel like these uh, leg kicks are actually going to work pretty well on him. So I'm actually going to attack his legs. Take a bit of a more more tie approach to Bruce Lee. I couldn't even get a late denial there, I guess. Nope, deny that. Fake that, and get right back up. You know how it's so easy to get back up? Because this dude just isn't good at the game. Why? Because he's using a calf. I should probably chill out a little bit with the calf slander, but at the same time, I can't really say I care. Because I just fucking don't, don't like calves. What, what on, I am at a loss for words, bruh. Nice reversal there. I, I, this dude's probably using fucking grapple assist, let's be real. Nice leg kick. Ooh, I thought I'd check that. Kick him on the way in. Now his, his lead leg is actually kind of messed up. Counter that with a leg kick. And now he's starting to block low after my jabs. In fact, not even, not even just after my jabs. And we're just gonna keep on banging him within the, with him in the clinch. Like, buddy, you can't do that. I don't know when these when these youngins will learn, but uh, not how she goes. Give him another leg kick for good measure, and a front kick to end it off. Phenomenal round against this fucking bum. All right, I'm being a little too toxic. Not bad though. We worked his leg pretty well, and we rocked him, knocked him down once, rocked him, rocked him twice. Wow! Fake glove touch too. You think you're real slick, buddy, huh? Okay. Slip hook counter, easily countered by some, by double hooks. This dude is so ass. So ass that he feels the need to fake glove touch. Counter. Ooh! That should have been the end of this dude's career. Something that I definitely don't like about Bruce is how short he is. Like these combos that you usually, usually can find range with, don't work with Bruce because he's so short and he just doesn't have much length. Man, this dude is so, so hook reckless. Oh my goodness. Another frustrating thing about Bruce, I can't remember if I said this already, but his spinning side kick is not a spinning heel kick. Meaning basically any lateral movement at all. Pull uppercut is there. Get shit on. We're ending it right here. I'm not giving this bum another chance. Looks like we're not ending it right here. <laughs> oh, fuck me, he got that. 
Um, Bruce's submission defense isn't the best, but we do have quite a bit of stamina, so I think we'd be all right. Let's just get right back up. Yeah, that, that lead leg is really messed up, and I really doubt this kid's good enough to have any sort of southpaw skill. Okay, I couldn't get the hits down on him for those knees. So he did kind of win that exchange. I'll give it to him. Oh, the pull counter's right there. Dude is very hook heavy. So he usually leads off with a jab or a straight. So slip straight there as well. Maybe slip to lead uppercut. There we go. Glass away his body a little bit. Front kick, spin to end it off, yet another knockdown. We might end up winning by decision here because I don't know if his head health is low enough uh, to get a clean knockout. We might be able to finish him on the ground or something. If he if he keeps going to southpaw though, we uh... Yeah, so there he went southpaw again. If he goes southpaw, we probably won't be able to get a leg TKO, that's for sure. Rocked once again. Oh my god. The fact that it's a sidekick just makes it so much worse. And I don't like that. Come on, come in the pocket. Come in the pocket. I should have should have countered way better on that. Okay. Man, this dude is just like the epitome of people I don't like in this game. Right, I need to mix up my need to mix up my leg kick combos a little bit more. Seriously though, it's a Muay Thai clinch spammer. Muay Thai clinch spammer using a calf in ranked. All right, okay, well, he's, he's, his lead legs out. There we go. Better switch that stance, Bucko. Now we're gonna try and knee his legs while he's against the cage here. Yep. We might be able to get leg health, man. He's just standing there. I'll keep on working that lead leg. Oh, dude, look how low his leg health is. Leg health is so low. Can we get a health event? Man, that leg is fucking destroyed. Fuck you, bitch. Ah! Oh, the sidekick betrays me once again. Bink, come on now. Your ass. And that's it. So we do end up winning by finish. Oof. That feels good, man. Feels good. God, what a little bitch. The fake glove touch split really sealed the deal for me. At that point, I knew that this man had to get murdered. And that's just what we did. Just systematically murdered him. That felt great. I haven't really used leg kicks with Bruce, and I feel like we used them pretty well there. Um, the kick speed is what definitely helps with his leg kicks. I mean, he's like a 92 kick power, which is solid, but having that 98 kick speed really helps you get off those kicks before your opponent can react to them and check them. So I'd say that that was a pretty good fight, a pretty good usage of Bruce. But thank you, guys very much for watching this video i appreciate it if you like ufc4 content tutorials all that good stuff consider subscribing but most importantly thank you for watching and have a good day